G'day, Wombat here, and in today's quick review, we're going to take a look at the M600 by Court. channel I have done a lot of court guitars and they've all been pretty good. We've done LP style guitars, um, we've done S type guitars um, and, and a few different varieties in those series that we've done. But I've been able to get my hands on this lovely beastie. This is the M600 um, in the M series by Court. And as you can see, it's um, it's very reminiscent of a certain Mr. Smith's body shape. Um, so it is a little bit different. And uh, Variety Music, who once again have come through and uh, and lent me this so I can show you guys, um, doesn't get a hold of these very often. They've been a little bit difficult to get a hold of. Um, and when he does get a hold of them, they go pretty quickly, apparently. So, um, you know, they're, they're really something that is sought after. But are they any good? Let's find out. So, the guitar itself is a mahogany body with a flame maple cap. And that is just a fantastic blue. I don't know if the lights and the camera are really going to do it justice. Just about every picture of this particular top I've ever seen really doesn't do it justice in in uh, in person. It is absolutely stunning. Let me tell you um, So yeah mahogany body maple cap Mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard and 22 frets um, White pearl inlays with a little touch of abalone on the corners which looks a million bucks really lifts it there the tuners themselves are um are a no-name tuner, so I'm assuming they're just a, a generic court-made tuner. Um, the pickups, of course, are Duncan Design pickups. Uh, they are the HB 102s. Now, anyone who knows anything about the Duncan Design pickups knows that the HB 102s are based on the Seymour Duncan JB pickups, which are a great pickup, which cover a, a wide variety of tonal options. Um, unusually though, in this particular guitar, they've gone with the JBs or the, the HB 102s in both the neck and the bridge. Now normally you would see something like a JB in a Jazz or a JB in a 59 um, and I do believe they have those options available in the Duncan Design pickups. But in this particular guitar, they've gone with the HB 102 in both positions. So I found that kind of interesting. Um, the controls themselves is just one volume, one tone, three-way selector switch, fairly simple stuff, with a coil tap um, for splitting the humbuckers on the tone pot. So that's about it really, nice binding, um, all in all it's a fairly well put together guitar, set neck, which is really nice, I do like a set neck guitar. The nut and saddles of course are Graf Tech, um, which is not unusual on this end of Quartz Market. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really stunning looking guitar, really well appointed, everything you need to rock out on. Um, and it just looks really, really classy. So that's the looks of it. How did it play? How did it sound? I can, I can hear you almost asking that uh, through the camera. Um, so the neck is, is a slim neck. It's not too thick. It's not a shredder's neck, although it does get a little thin. Um, particularly down this end here, which I quite like. Um, but playing wise, it just played like a dream. It felt great in the hands. Um, it never got in my way. Um, played beautifully. 
um, as I said, I quite like a neck like this. It's a bit of a a bit of a flat D, particularly as you get further up the neck, you can feel that sort of flatten out under the hand. Um, so it never got him away, it played really well. The fret access is really, really good. Really, really high fret access on that. Um, and the, the fretting job, of course, superb, as usual with court. Um, the humbuckers were great. Now, I don't expect too much from Duncan Design humbuckers, personally. Um, you always wonder, you know, they are based on the Seymour Duncan pickups made to the same specifications, just using cheaper labor and cheaper materials. But I don't personally feel that the Duncan Design pickups have always, always sounded great. They can be a bit hit and miss, I guess is what I'm saying. These guys, however, were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Middle position on double humbucker guitars is always my preferred favorite for clean tones and this didn't let me down. It was full, it was lovely. The neck pickup was really, really nice and sang beautifully. The bridge pickup was really clear um, without ever getting too trebly, so no ice picks in the side of the head. Um, just, just did a lovely job. These were really seriously good pickups. Um, Flick it over to um, rock distortion and of course being based on a JB, it just ate it up. Just absolutely loved it. This thing rocked hard, it sang beautifully. Um, and as usual, I threw everything at it. I did some clean, I did some blues. It wasn't bad in the blues. Rock, it really loved, it really sang. Um, I threw metal at it and being JBs, you know, based on the JB pickup, they handled it without any problems. So I know a lot of guys um, who use Seymour Duncan JBs for their metal tones. Um, so they do the job. So a little unusual to see the, the two um, same pickup in both positions, but it, it did work. Um, personally, I like something a little, a little less high output in the neck. That's just a personal preference for me, but this was actually really, really nice. It did a fantastic job. So. It played beautifully, it sounded great. The Tone Pro's bridge is fantastic. Um, the, the single coil sound wasn't too bad. It certainly reduced the output quite a lot and didn't push the amp as hard, which was nice. Um, all in all, it's just a fabulous sounding guitar and a great player. And how can you go past that blue flame maple top? I mean, look at that, it's stunning. But the other thing I really like about it is that black back. That black back with the cream binding, man, that looks a million bucks. It is a fantastic guitar and you can't go wrong with it if you're into this kind of a shape. Um, yeah, stunning guitar, just played like a dream. So, what are we talking about money-wise? That's the real bottom line, isn't it? Recommended retail price on something like this is around the $1,000 mark from Court. Um, which is not bad considering the fit and finish is really quite good. Variety, however, man, they are saving people a lot of cash here in Australia. $600. That's a $400 saving on a guitar this good. Um, man, I, I love that music store. If you're in Australia, go and check them out because they do great prices on their stuff. Um, and I'm not being paid to say that. They just happen to be my local store and I have a good relationship with them. And um, they're happy to lend me some guitars to show you guys. And when they look like this and they play like this, man, makes my job easy. But that's it. The M600 by Court. What a guitar. Fantastic. All right, that's it for today. Um, don't forget to hit the, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, if you want to, click the little bell. It'll tell you when the next video is coming out. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, rock on, guys.